It's story time with Mr. Burnett. Story time with Mr. Burnett. It's bound to be something that you won't forget too soon. Time for a book. Today's book, Wolves by Emily Gravett. And now for a word from our sponsors. Today's story, featuring the book Wolves, is brought to you by the Circle of Life. Nature provides a way for everything to have lunch. Wolves. Rabbit went to the library. Shh. He chose a book about wolves. <clears throat> That's old school right there. When you used to be a long time ago you would check a book out and they would stamp it and that was when it was due and there was a card they would pull out and stick in a file and they would know that you had that book by looking at the card for that book gray wolves live in packs of between two and ten animals They can survive almost anywhere from the Arctic Circle to the outskirts of towns and villages. In some areas, Wolves have retreated to places where fewer people live, such as forests and woodland. They have sharp claws. Bushy tails. And dense fur, which harbors fleas and ticks. An adult wolf has 42 teeth. Its jaws are twice as powerful as those of a large dog. <clears throat> Wolves eat mainly meat. They hunt large prey such as deer, bison, and moose. They also enjoy smaller mammals like beavers, voles, and does it seem like rabbit just like for the first time stops and looks around talk about getting really caught up in a good book and completely tuning out your surroundings and rabbits The author would like to point out that no rabbits were eaten during the making of this book. It is a work of fiction. And so, for more sensitive readers, here is an alternative ending. <clears throat> Luckily, this wolf was a vegetarian, so they shared a jam sandwich, became the best of friends, and lived happily ever after.
the end. Not sure. I'm not sure I buy that. I think. Um, I think the original version of that was probably more accurate because wolves are not vegetarians. I hate to tell you this, but they they like meat. They do. They're carnivores. Um, good book. It reminds me of another book. Maybe I'll be reading that soon. Wolves by Emily Gravitt. Thanks for joining me.